Hi Potassium, how are you? I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I did too. It was very relaxing, but very fast. But let's get our week started. Welcome back to story time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed last week's stories. I thought they were really cool. And so we have another one today that I really like. And it's another Oliver Jeffers book. It's called A Child of Books. It was written by Oliver Jeffers and it was illustrated by Sam Winston. And it's a nice little story about the power of stories. So let's go ahead and get started. Child of Books. I am a child of books. I come from a world of stories. And upon my imagination, I float. And if you have the book and you look closely down here at the waves, you'll notice that the waves are made up of stories. You have the Swiss Family Robinson right here, the voyages of Dr. Doolittle. You have Hansel and Gretel, Gulliver's Travels. Those are all stories you can read when you get older. I have sailed across a sea of words to ask if you will come away with me. Some people have forgotten where I live. And the newspaper says serious stuff. But along these words, I can show you the way. And this is from Alice, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. We will travel over mountains of make-believe. And this mountain's made up of Peter Pan's words. Discover treasure in the darkness. This one is very hard to make out what it is because it's so dark. We can lose ourselves in forests of fairy tales. And if you look closely, you can see that the trees are made up of what? Books, yeah, you're right. This one here is made up of Hansel and Gretel. I think you guys know that one. And escape monsters in haunted castles. That must be from a scary story. I think it's from Frankenstein. Oof. A little too scary for me. We will sleep in clouds of song. I think you know, you guys know what kind of songs are for sleeping, right? Little lullabies, yeah. And shout as loud as we like in space. And they're all just saying, ah. <laughs> For this is our world we've made from stories. And I'll hold the picture close so you can see as many stories as you can find. Oh, I see some Pinocchio. I see some from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, from Peter Pan, Peter Rabbit. Oof, lots of cool stuff. Our house. It's a poem of invention. Where anyone at all can come. Where imagination is free. And that's the end of that story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.